Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. In this video we're going to look at the top 10 most expensive violins sold at auction as of January 2023. Please note that there are some examples of violins sold for higher prices than those of the violins listed in this video. This is because they were sold via private sale and not via auction. We shall look at an example of a violin sold via private sale in the middle of this video. Links to all violins featured in this video can be found in the description. Before we start the list, I just want to thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to the channel. For the sake of consistency, all auction sales values are listed in US dollars. Any currency conversions reflect the dollar value at the time and final values include the buyer's premium. Now let's continue to the list. Coming in at number 10, we have the Folinari by Bartholomew Giuseppe Guarneri, also known as Del Gesù. This violin was made in Cremona between 1715 and 1722. This violin was sold by Teresio on June the 25th, 2012 for $2 $333,175. It is worth noting that the varnish on this violin has been restored. At number 9 we have the X Kroll McEwen by Antonio Stradivari made in Cremona in 1684. This was sold by Ingalls and Heyday on March the 28th 2017 for $2,410,310. This violin was once owned by William Kroll, a wealthy Scottish businessman and collector of fine instruments. It was later sold to Mr. Robert Finney McEwen, a lawyer, who bought it for the purpose of giving it to his daughter Catherine. Catherine later became the Countess of Scarborough. Number 8 on our list is the Baron von der Leyen Clave Ness. This was made by Antonio Stradivari in Cremona around 1705. This was sold by Teresio on April the 27th, 2012 for $2,592,000. This violin was once owned by Baron Friedrich Heinrich von Friedrich von der Leyen and later was owned by Anton Friedrich Claveness, a Norwegian businessman and philanthropist. At number 7 we have the Lambert Solomon by Antonio Stradivari made in Cremona in 1729. This was sold by Christie's on April the 2nd, 2007 for $2,728,000. This violin was once owned by concert violinist Dorothy Mary Murray Lambert and later by businessman Seymour Solomon. At number 6 we have the Cabriac by Antonio Stradivari made in Cremona around 1698. This was sold by J&A Beer on October the 28th, 2014 for $2,764,767. This violin was once owned by the family of Count de Cabriac. Now that we are at the midpoint of the video, we can have a look at some notable private sales and bequests. In 2013, it was reported that London dealers JNA Beer sold a violin by Bartolomeu Giuseppe Guarneri aka Del Gesù for around 16 million dollars. This particular instrument was made in Cremona in 1741 and has the name Vautom after the previous owner Henri Vautom. This particular instrument was also previously used by Yehudi Menuhin, Itzhak Perlman and Pinchas Zuckerman. Thought to be one of the most valuable violins in the world the violin made by Antonio Stradivari in Cremona in 1716, known as the Messiah, is thought to be worth in excess of $20 million. The violin was bequeathed to the Ashmolean Museum in Oxford in 1939 by the dealers W.E. Hill & Sons. The violin still remains in the Ashmolean collection to this day. The finest example of a violin by Antonio Stradivari it has had many notable owners including Francesco Stradivari, Paolo Stradivari, Count Ignazio Alessandro Coggio di Salabu, Luigi Terizio, Jean-Baptiste Viome, Delphine Allard, Robert Crawford, Ernesto Nicolini, Richard Bennett, 
the Hill and Sons shop and the Ashmolean Museum in Oxford. Number five on our list is The Hammer by Antonio Stradivari, made in Cremona in 1707. This was sold by Christie's on May the 16th, 2006 for $3,544,000. This violin was previously owned by Swedish collector Christian Hammer. Hammer was a prolific collector of antiques and accumulated over 400,000 items in his lifetime. Coming in at number 4 we have the Molotov by Antonio Stradivari made in Cremona in 1697. This particular violin was sold by Teresio on October the 15th 2010 it sold for $3,600,000. This violin was previously owned by Gabriel Jean Joseph, the first Count of Molotov. During the French Revolution, Molotov joined the French Revolutionary Armies as a captain in a battalion of militia. It is rumoured that the Molotov violin may have once been owned by Napoleon Bonaparte. In at number three is a recent sale, the Pasquier by Bartolomeu Giuseppe Guarneri, known as Del Gesù. This violin was made in Cremona in 1737. It was sold by a Goots auction on June 3, 2022. It sold for $3,627,892. The Pasquier holds a record as the most expensive Del Gesù violin ever sold at auction. This violin was previously owned by French concert violinist Regis Pasquier. He wanted to sell this instrument at auction upon retirement so that it could be bought and played by another musician. The violin ended up being purchased by German virtuoso violinist and Del Gesù aficionado David Garrett. Given Garrett's fame, the next time that this violin is sold it may well carry his name as well. In at number two, another recent sale, the Da Vinci X Seidel by Antonio Stradivari, made in Cremona around 1714. This violin was sold by Teresio on June the 10th, 2022. It sold for a staggering $15,340,000, very close to being a record holder. The Da Vinci part of this violin's name was given to it during one of its many stays with the dealers in Paris. The exact reason is not known other than this is a wonderful example of Stradivari's work. For a long time this violin was owned by the virtuoso violinist Tosha Seidel. In fact it can be heard on the track Somewhere Over the Rainbow from the film The Wizard of Oz. Before we get to the most expensive violin ever sold at auction, I just want to mention the Titanic violin which sold for $1.7 million at auction in 2013. This violin was owned by Wallace Henry Hartley. He was an English violinist and the band leader on the RMS Titanic on its maiden voyage. It is said that Hartley was playing the violin alongside his bandmates as the Titanic was sinking. It was later found in a music case strapped to his body. After the violin was salvaged, Hartley's fiance gifted the violin to a music teacher at the Salvation Army. Since the sale, the violin has occasionally been on display at several museums, most recently at a museum in Tennessee. And finally, the number one violin that everyone has been waiting for, the most expensive violin ever sold at auction to date is the Lady Blunt by Antonio Stradivari made in Cremona in 1721. This was sold by Teresio on June the 22nd 2011 for an extraordinary $15,821,285. This violin was sold by the Nippon Music Foundation in order to raise money for Japan's Tsunami Relief Fund. It is worth noting that this violin has its original neck that has been re-angled at the heel. It is also accompanied by its original bass bar and fingerboard. The pegs and tailpiece were made by Jean-Baptiste Villome. Previous owners of this violin include Jean-Baptiste Villome, Lady Anne Blunt, Charles Withers and Emil Hammer, Charles F. Edler, Baron Johann Knup, 
W. E. Hill and Sons, Johann Cruz, J. E. Street, Richard Bennett, Robert Augustus Bauer, Henry Wero, Sam Bloomfield, Robin Lowe, and the Nippon Music Foundation. Many thanks for tuning in to the Musical Instrument Investigator. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please like, uh, subscribe and turn on notifications and watch out for the next video coming soon.